Hi there, my name is Ari. Thank you for joining me today. Find a comfortable seat, whatever position that may be for you. And if you'd like, you can place a bolster or a blanket underneath your hips to prop them up and help the position feel more comfortable for you. So find your seat, rest your hands comfortably on your thighs, and I invite you to close your eyes. Allow yourself to arrive on your mat. Simply be present here as we begin our practice together today. Notice the breath flowing in and out through your nostrils, slow and steady inhalations and exhalations. Feel your sit bones evenly root into the support beneath you. Shoulder blades draw together and down. Crown of the head lifts up toward the sky. Richard Freeman writes that yoga begins with listening. When we listen, we are giving space to what is. If you'd like, you can join me by placing your hands over your heart and simply listen. Connect with your inner self and notice if anything arises. Give those feelings, those emotions, the space they deserve. And together, let's take a long, slow inhalation through the nose. Exhale out your mouth. Allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm. Perhaps deeper, more expansive. We'll sit here together for a few more rounds of breath tuning in and listening. When you're ready, release your hands, open your eyes, and let's come to meet in hands and knees. Moving any props out of the way you might have been sitting on. Come to our tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Take a few cat cows. Moving nice and slowly. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Arch your back. Look straight ahead. Exhale, round your spine. Tuck your tail. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Keep moving here. We'll take a few more rounds at your own pace. 
notice how these movements feel in your body. Let's meet in stillness and hands and knees. Next, you can take some natural movement. So you have a few options. You can rock your hips from side to side. You can move your hips around in a big wide circle. You can include the rest of your torso, your shoulders, your head and neck. Simply breathe and move as feels good to you in your body. class today, I'd like you to listen mostly to yourself and your body, a little bit to me as I suggest poses. Let's come back to stillness in tabletop position and then tuck your toes, lift your hips, and press back into downward facing dog. You can find some gentle movement here. Pedal out your legs here, bending and straightening alternatingly, alternately. Or you can rock your hips from side to side. Listen to your own body. Be gentle as you begin to open up. When you're ready, come into stillness in your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Ears in line with the shoulders, hips are reaching up to the sky. Nice tall spine here. Have a slight bend in your knees if that would feel good to you. Palms are firmly pressing into the mat. Look forward between your hands and slowly walk your feet forward so they're just behind your hands. Feet are about hips width distance apart here. And before we come into a forward fold in stillness, you can find some movement first. Let your head hang heavy. Come into stillness. In your forward fold, Uttanasana. Hands can grab onto whatever is available to you. Feel your chest moving closer to your thighs, your hips lifting to the sky. Your head hangs heavy. Your jaw is relaxed. On your next inhalation, come up to a halfway lift. Hands come to the shins, tailbone reaches back, crown of the head reaches forward. And fold forward again. Inhale to rise on up, sweep your arms wide. Bring your palms to touch at the top. Exhale, push the air down with your arms. Come to stand in Tadasana, mountain pose. Palms face forward, arms extended by your sides. 
your feet root into your mat. I invite you to check in again. And notice how your body is feeling at this point in our practice. On your next inhalation, sweep your arms wide, bring your palms to touch at the top. Exhale, fold forward, hands reach toward the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to a plank pose, and then either move through Chaturanga into upward facing dog or lower down to your belly and come into Cobra pose. We'll push back to downward facing dog. Take a few rounds of breath here. forward between your hands, walk, step, or hop your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms wide, come all the way up to stand. Palms press at the top, and then bring your hands down to your heart. We'll move through Surya Namaskar A two more times together. Now that you know where we're going. On your next inhalation, sweep your arms wide, bring the palms to touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank and move through your vinyasa. Leading back in downward facing dog for a few rounds of breath. Look forward, hop, step, or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back and move through your poses. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath here. Look forward, walk, step or hop up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a few rounds of breath here. Standing in Tadasana at the top of your mat. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, bend to the right. Palms can press together or they can be separate, whatever feels good to you. Feet are evenly rooted. Hips and chest are open to the front of your mat. Inhale up to center. Exhale, bend over to the left. Breathe into this opening. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale, we'll bend to the right again, dropping the right hand down to the thigh, and finding a little deeper stretch here. Inhale, lift yourself up back to center. Exhale to the other side. Breathe into your stretch. Only go as deep as feels good to you. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, push the air down. I'll meet you back at the top of the mat. Inhale to sweep your arms wide, bring the palms to touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, press your hands and you can either step back to a plank or jump back to Chaturanga. Moving through your vinyasa and we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up, coming to a three-legged dog. Stab your right foot forward between your hands, drop your back knee, untuck those toes. Inhale to rise up into low lunge. Your legs are rooting you down as your torso and arms are lifting you up. Exhale to place your hands on the ground. Move your right foot out to the right at a slight angle here. Your left hand can be pressed into the mat or if that hurts your wrist, you can make a fist and place your knuckles on the ground. Right hand comes to right knee and look over your right shoulder. If you'd like, your, the outside of your right foot can come down to the mat. Finding a deeper opening here. Inhale to come back to center. Press your hands, tuck those back toes, and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg back and up. Exhale, step it forward, coming into low lunge on the other side. Inhale to rise up. Palms face one another. Fingertips reach toward the sky. Your front knee should be stacked over your ankle. Drop your hands down to the mat. Scoot your left foot out to the side. Toes point out at an angle. Left hand comes to left knee. And you can come onto the outside of the left foot here if you'd like, looking over your left shoulder, finding a deeper opening if that's what you are wanting right now. Connect with your breath. Inhale to unwind. Press your palms, step back to a plank pose, and move through your vinyasa. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Breathe into your shape. On your next inhalation, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. And we'll leave the back knee lifted. We'll come into a crescent lunge. Breathe deeply. Feel the strength of your legs. Next, we'll come into a twist. 
Inhale to find length in your spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Right fingertips reach back, left fingertips reach forward. Inhale to unwind. Back to crescent lunge. Exhale, press your hands, step back to downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Prepare for your crescent lunge on the other side. Prepare for the twist. Inhale to find length. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep breathing. Find your balance. You're doing great. Inhale, let's come back to center. Exhale, press your hands and move through your vinyasa. Meeting back in downward facing dog. One more round of breath here. Inhale your right leg back. Exhale, step it through. Drop the back heel. Toes are pointed out to the side. And we'll come up into warrior one. Your front knee is tracking forward towards your middle toes. We'll adjust the stance, coming into warrior two, opening your shoulders and your hips toward the side of your mat. Front finger, right fingertips reach forward, left fingertips reach back. And then let's flip the front palm Come into Reverse Warrior. Find the gaze that suits you best. Windmill the arms, place your hands, step back to Downward Facing Dog. Connect with your breath. Inhale your left leg back. Exhale, step it through. Seal the back heel. Rise up into warrior one. Find your foundation. And then allow your torso and your arms to lift you up. Adjust your stance and open it up into warrior two. Gaze is just over those front fingertips. Slow, expansive inhalations and exhalations. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Stay bent into that front knee. Windmill the arms. Press your hands and move through your vinyasa. Leaving back in downward facing dog. Take a few rounds of breath here. You're always welcome to come into child's pose. 
if you need a little break. From downward facing dog, walk your hands back towards your feet. Coming into Uttanasana for a few rounds of breath. In your next inhalation, let's rise on up, coming all the way up to stand, and bring your palms down towards your heart. Take a few rounds of breath here. And notice. Standing at the back of your mat, bring your hands to your hips and shift your weight into your right foot. We'll come into tree pose, Brikshasana. You have a few options. Your left foot can either go on your ankle, your calf, or above your knee. Find a drishti, a focal point on the wall, not moving. Find your balance. Bring your palms to touch at your heart. And if you'd like, you can lift your arms up to the sky, growing your branches. Palms can stay together or can reach out. Whatever suits you best. Connect with your breathing. Find your steady tree. Hands come back to your heart. With control, release the leg, release the arms. We'll switch to the other side. Shift your weight into your left foot and find your variation. Where does your right foot want to go? And it's okay if this side is different than the other side. When you're ready, bring your palms to touch at your heart. Find your focal point, connect with your breath, and grow your branches if you'd like. Feel your foot rooting you down into the earth, and your arms lifting you up, growing toward the sun. You are a beautiful tree, a beautiful being. Take one more deep round of breath here. Hands come back to your heart. Release out of the pose, and you can shake it out. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. And remember to keep breathing. Sometimes when we get really focused uh, in yoga or in life, we tend to hold our breath, so let's try to keep that breath flowing here. Bring your hands to your hips again. Shift your weight into your right foot. We'll be coming into eagle pose this time. So you can bend that right knee. We'll cross the left leg over top. You have a few options. The left big toe can keep touching the mat. You can lift it up. Or if your body is feeling it today, you can tuck the top of your left foot behind your right leg. If it's not happening, that's okay. Accept your pose, accept where your body is at right now. Bend a little deeper, find your focal point, bring your arms out into a T, and then cross the right arm over the top of the left. And you have a few options. You can either bring your hands to your shoulders, the backs of your hands can come to touch, or you can wrap your arms around each other and your palms can come to touch. Your triceps are approximately parallel with the ground. Can you bend into your knees a little bit more?
Inhale to unwind. Shake it out. Hands come to your hips again. Shift the weight into the left foot. We'll come into Eagle Pose on this side. Bending into the left leg. Right leg comes over top. And find your pose. Find your drishti, your focal point. Bring your arms out into a T. And then cross your left arm over your right. And then find your arm variation. Breathe into your shape. Feel your foot rooting down. Nice strong foundation. Take one more deep round of breath here. You're doing really well. Inhale to unwind. And we'll shake it out again. Come to stand at the back of your mat again in Tadasana. Inhale, sweep your arms wide, bring your palms to touch the top. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands forward, coming into a plank pose. You can either simply push back into downward facing dog. You can lower down to your belly and come into a cobra pose, or you can move through Chaturanga Dandasana into Upward Facing Dog. All meeting back in Downward Facing Dog for a few rounds of breath. Let's drop down to a child's pose. Knees come wide, big toes come to touch. Sink your hips back to your heels. Arms extend long in front of you. Allow your body to release into your shape. Deep expansive inhalations. Deep, expansive exhalations. If your forehead is resting on the mat, you can rock your head from side to side. Giving yourself a nice forehead massage to release tension. Coming into stillness and child's pose for a few more rounds of breath. Slowly walk your hands back, lift your torso up. We'll bring the knees together and we'll tuck all 10 toes under. If you need to use your hands to assist the little toes forward, you can do that. And then sit your hips back onto your heels. Now this toe stretch can be pretty intense. You are welcome to come out of it. Just lift your hips up if it's too much, and then come back into it when you're ready. Hands rest on your thighs for a moment. Tailbone reaches down. Crown of the head lifts up. Bring your right hand to your upper back with your elbow pointing up. Your head, the back of your head pushes into your arm. And you can either bring your left hand to your right elbow to assist your stretch, or you can reach your left arm up and back, pressing the, the back of your hand into your back and striving to get your fingertips to touch, or you can grab a hold if you're feeling open right now. Breathe into this whole pose.
let's take a break. You can come forward onto your hands and shake out your feet or tap them on the ground. Coming back into it when you're ready. Or if you're not ready to come into the full pose, you can lift your hips up and that's okay. Bring the left hand to the upper back, elbow pointing up, back of the head pushing into the arm, tall spine here. And find the variation with your right arm that you would like. What is your body feeling up to right now? Tune into your breath. Take one more deep round of breath here. Let's unwind, shake out those feet. And next we'll come down to a seat. First we'll come into Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together. If you're if your knees are, are lifting off of the ground, you can place pillows or blankets or, or blocks underneath those, if that would feel more comfortable. It's up to you. And since we just got a nice toe stretch, we'll give ourselves a little foot massage here. Getting all of your toes, soles of each foot, Sending a little warmth and gratitude to the feet for all that they do. When you're done with your foot massage, you can grab onto your ankles with your hands. Feel your shoulder blades draw together and down. Nice tall spine here. When you're ready, you can fold forward bringing your chest closer to your feet. Hands can rest on the ground. Feel your shoulders and your jaw relax. Send your breath to the place in your body that needs it the most right now. When you're ready, slowly lift your torso up. And then we'll come into fire log pose. You can use your hands to, to move your legs around here. The left shin comes parallel to the front of your mat. Right shin stacks on top. So your right knee should be on top of your left foot. Rest your hands where you'd like. And if one of your sit bones is kind of lifting off the ground, you can Place a blanket or a pillow under that so that your, your hips are, are steady and, and rooted down into some support. You're welcome to stay here or if you'd like you can join me by folding forward, bringing the torso, the chest closer to the legs. Hands can remain on your legs, they can come onto the ground in front of you or your right hand can come to your right foot and your left hand can come to your left foot and then you can fold. I invite you to listen. What does your body have to tell you right now? Let's slowly come out of the pose. Use your hands to switch your legs, right hand on bottom, right shin on bottom, left shin on top. Another option is um, 
if your left knee is popping up, you can place a, a bolster or a blanket or a pillow underneath there. So find your pose, get comfortable, feel your sit bones evenly rooting down. And then let's fold forward. Finding the hand variation that feels best to you. Check in, make sure you're not holding tension anywhere unnecessarily. Slowly come out of this pose and grab onto the backs of your knees with your hands. We'll send the legs out wide. As wide as feels comfortable to you, your feet are flexed, sit bones should be rooting into the ground. Nice tall spine. You can stay here or if you'd like, you can join me by folding forward as far as feels good to you. Until you find your end point and then you can place your forearms on the ground, or if that's too far, if you have blocks or blankets, you can rest your forearms, your elbows on those. Try to get comfortable. Try to find ease in this pose. Reconnect with your breathing. One more round of breath. When you're ready, lift your torso up, grab onto the backs of your knees with your hands, and then let's come to meet on our backs. Feet are resting on the ground about hips width distance apart. Knees are pointed to the sky. Arms extend long by your sides. Palms press into the mat. The back of the head is pressing into the mat with the chin slightly towards your chest. And as you push your feet and the back of your head into your mat, lift your hips up to the sky. Inhale to lower your hips down. Exhale to lift them up. Keep moving here to the tune of your own breath. Nice and slowly. Noticing how this flowy bridge feels in your body. The next time your hips are lifted, stay up here in your bridge pose for a few rounds of breath. When you're ready, lower your hips down, bring your feet as wide as your mat, and then rock your hips from side to side as your knees move in a windmill pattern, releasing the low back. Bring your knees back up to the sky. Bring your feet and your knees together. Arms extend out into a T. And then lift your legs off the ground 
bringing your knees into approximately a 90 degree angle. And then exhale, drop your legs over to the right side, coming into a twist. Left shoulder should continue to be rooted into your mat. Gaze can be up at the sky or over your left shoulder. If you'd like to deepen your twist, you can cross your left leg over your right. You only do this pose if it feels good in your body. Deep breaths. On your next inhalation, lift your legs back up to center and drop them over to the other side, finding your shape, your variation here. Leaving your legs stacked on top of one another or crossing your right leg over your left. Whatever will feel good to you in this moment. Feel the weight of gravity assisting your twist. Allow your body to relax further in preparation for Shavasana. Lift your legs back up to center. Give your knees a nice big hug. You can rock your hips from side to side. You can move your knees around in a big circle, giving your low back a massage. Next, we'll prepare for Shavasana. Getting any additional props you might need. If you'd like to put on socks or a sweater, you're welcome to do so. Get as comfortable as possible. And when you're ready, extend your legs long. Feet naturally fall out to the sides. Extend your arms long by your sides with your palms facing up. I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Notice the natural rhythm of your breathing. You feel your body begin to relax into your mat. Bring your awareness to your toes. Feel all of your toes relax. Release the soles of your feet and the tops of your feet. Let go of your shins and your calf muscles. Relax the fronts and backs of your thighs. Soften your hips and your glutes. Feel your whole back release into your mat. Relax your shoulder blades. Release tension from your shoulders. Let go of your biceps and your triceps. Release your forearms, the fronts, and the backs. Relax the palms of your hands the backs of your hands and all of your fingers. Soften your belly. 
relax your chest. Release your throat and your neck. Release tension from your jaw. Relax your tongue. Relax your cheeks, your nose, and your eyes. Soften your forehead. Relax your ears and the back of your head. Release the crown of your head. Feel a wave of relaxation wash over your body. You are relaxed and free of tension. Bring your awareness back to your breath, back to your body. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale out your mouth and let something go. Gently bring movement back into your body in whatever way feels authentic to you. You could wiggle your fingers and toes, rock your head back and forth from side to side, give your knees a hug or extend long. When you're ready, roll to one side for a few rounds of breath in the fetal position. Keeping your eyes closed, gently push yourself up to a comfortable seat. Once you find your seat, we invite you to check in. Notice how your mind, your body, and your heart are feeling now. Bring your palms to touch at heart center and Anjali Mudra. Thank yourself for rolling out your mat and showing up for yourself today. I hope that you are able to take your slow, steady breathing and your listening with you throughout the rest of your day. Let's bring the thumbs to touch the forehead as a reminder of kind thoughts. Thumbs touch the mouth as a reminder of kind words and thumbs touch the heart as a reminder of kind intentions. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.